Okay, it is Terry. Dwayne Ashford, 8.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday night. And July 23rd, I'm Terry Ashford reporting for you about Terry Ashford. Me, myself, and I, who is the son of Wilma, was attacked tonight. We were waiting for it right there on that bus sitting there almost asleep. When this gentleman first got on the bus, he got on the bus and he was pulling on the seats. He was pulling and kicking with his knee on the seat with some, some aggression. That was when I first looked around at him and saw him uh, leaning upward on the seat into, uh, almost into my seat. So in order to resolve that particular issue, I moved over uh, and sat in the second seat and allowed uh, so that his his body leaning over to my seat <laughs> couldn't lean as far as my back was against uh, my own seat, <laughs> which uh, pushed him out of the way. I sat there, almost went to sleep, closed my eyes. Um, he started to grunt, and that's when I started to grunt back. That's what he was doing in my ear. <laughs> Just like on that waiting to exhale movie, Whitney with Houston, he said, and uh, in order to resolve that particular issue, I said, right back, and left it at that, turn around, all silent and quiet, next thing I know, he started to yell at me, call me names, he said, my breast stank. I, he said, uh, asked me if I had dick on my breath. I told him, your breath smell like you got shit on your <laughs> breath. And we left it at that because he is a person I don't know, and that's when I made it clear. My dude, I don't even know you. You don't know me. If you felt like that, you feel like that, why did you sit right behind me and punch your ass up against my my uh, back? <laughs> I guess you to get on, on in my seat. Um, we left it at that. We, Put our headset back on, and I had my, um, what do you call it, automatic noise reduction on, and I thought I heard him still yelling and calling me names. I raised my headset up on my left ear, and I asked, are you still talking to me? Are you still yipping at me for what? I don't know you, do you know me? Uh, we left it at that, that's when, um, I turned back around, put my headset back on, and that's when I felt a struck. Uh, something struck me in the back of my head or my shoulder. One of the two. It didn't, it, it wasn't it's anything that hurt. It was just somebody, I knew somebody had struck me. I looked around, and that uh, belligerent Muslim with a African shirt on <laughs> had jumped up out of the seat, jumped in the back, had his fist up, aiming at me. I got up. And I'm really thinking, what's wrong with you? I'm not scared, boys. Yes. I'd already had my plan if that happened. And that's when I dived in and started giving him the blows on his face that sent him to the hospital. Bloody, uh, definitely bloody, uh, definitely uh, some serious blood. I would have, if I cared about, a, uh, about the little fucker, uh, I would have made sure that he got to the hospital because the blood was streaming out of his face like crazy, streaming. Uh, I didn't want the blood to get on me, uh, so, uh, but at the same time, he was trying to get at me. I continued to give him the blows. Gave him four blows before I, uh, he uh, found the need to get off. He jumped off and ran into the grass right there in front of Howard Hospital. Uh, probably where he needed to go, right there into the emergency room right then. Because blood was all over him and he was attacking me. He started it and I finished it. As I informed him that he was even giving me big mouth. Big mouth to a stranger. He was talking big mouth. And uh, that's when I gave him big shit. <laughs> now, uh, it's over uh, 8.58 p.m. And I'm here to inform everyone who saw that that I'm okay. I'm totally okay. I, uh, I heard one lady ask, is he okay? Is he okay? I'm not sure if he was talking to me or talking about me or not. But she had to be talking about me because by then he was out on the ground in front of Howard's uh, university bleeding. Uh, for me, uh, I'm standing, I'm inside, and I'm saying, I'm okay, I'm not sure right now if I should get off this bus, because if I get off and we have to do something else, it's going to be really, really hard on him, uh, and um, so we didn't do that, uh, I didn't do that, I ended up walking, 
up to uh, just walking away from the situation. I'm Terry Ashford, reporting for you what happened, uh, giving uh, accounts that I am totally okay. Um, I feel bad for that to have happened, but uh, he struck me from behind and I was expecting something like that to happen. Again, there wasn't going to be an assault on this that was going to be hidden or an assault on this Ashford where the criminal was going to win. I'm Terry Ashford reporting it for you. Okay, I want to close out uh, with uh, my thoughts on that. Now, my approach to such situations have always been docile approach, uh, step uh, backwards, uh, warn the individual, and all of that I did. And when I did that, I turned my back, feeling safe, feeling uh, as if we were dealing with the same person because although he was belligerent, he also seemed to have been sane. He may have even been gay. Um, but so that made me feel more comfortable, comfortable enough to turn my back and to place my headsets back on with the automatic noise reduction on. And that is exactly when the uh, conspirator struck. Uh, my thoughts on that is usually I, I, I don't approach situation. I've, I feel bad that it had to happen today, but I really don't feel bad because one, Oh, we need uh, those big guys like that to understand who they're dealing with when they're dealing with smaller people uh, and to learn not to strike smaller people. We wanted to give him what he wants. And that is what we did. That is exactly what we plan to do. And that's uh, something that I don't, uh, uh, don't back off uh, from uh, defending myself. I do want to say that I, I am always sorry about, uh, you know, having to do that because again uh, all the footage would show Terry Dwayne Ashford once again backing off and then he wanted it really badly so badly he struck first and that's when we made it happen for him I do apologize for that guys gals world universe However, defense is uh, a part of life and it is something that everyone should practice and should be ready to do when the time comes appropriately.